Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today Gutaro is out and we're going to be going over a combo guide for the character. So this will be all about what to do when you are hitting the opponent. So Gutaro is, I think, very similar to Tengen combo-wise. He's super freeform, all of his special moves super easily lead into combos that have zero thought so his combos are really really flexible and there's not many to like defined routes that you have to take so in this video i think i'm going to more focus on the more important things of his combos like the types of ways you're going to end your combos and the types of ways you're going to go into your combos because the middle part is so wishy-washy so because <laughs> the middle parts are basically always going to consist of some buttons into either your standing special your tilt special um, even this special, but no, uh, that was a joke. You're not that special. <laughs> or even your um, jump cancel dive kick. So it could be this. Standing special, tail special. All of these are great combo extenders <laughs> for Gyutaro. And most of his combos, like if it's a regular BNB, it's going to look something like this. So a bunch of attacks into one of his special moves. Actually, pro tip, you will actually get more damage if you do your... Um, standing special earlier in the combo than your tilt special because it just has a little bit less scaling. So a very simple combo that you might want to do all the time will look something like this. A few hits, standing special, full attack string, tilt special, full attack string, dash cancel into a grab. Now this is the main combo ender I suggest you use with Gyutaro because it adds such a huge chunk of damage to the end of his combo. So it's a dash cancel into a grab. And as you can see, that's tons of damage for a super simple combo and not a particularly expensive one. And you might be wondering, isn't that just a reset? Well, yes it is, kind of, because it resets the damage. But it's an unavoidable grab. I've labbed it, the opponent cannot burst, they cannot ultimate, they cannot DP, they cannot jump, they cannot armor attack. There's nothing they can do about it. They can't even switch with their opponent. Okay, just a quick side note on the full combo string into a dash cancel grab. My testing the first time must have been a little bit wrong because the opponent can actually jump and ultimate out of it, but they cannot mash or even go for a DP. So the only options they have are mash and jump, which does actually lead to a favorable RPS situation for you. So um, let me just demonstrate that they can actually um, they can jump out of it and they can also go for an ultimate. But um. This is kind of a favorable situation for you still if it's a mix-up, if you think that they're going to go go for either of these options and you don't really have to adjust for too much. So if you do have the sneaking suspicion that, that they might be mashing ultimate or going to jump, instead of um, doing a dash cancel, you know, you press the block button and mash the attack button to go for a grab. Well, you can hold the guard button and press the special button to go for a DP. And if you just wait a moment, you will cover both options of the ultimate and the jump. So if you see that the opponent jumps, you can be like, oh, DP, and you'll catch them out of the air because it's got such a big hitbox. So like, pretend I've done the whole thing, I've gone to go for a grab. He jumps, DP, I get to anti-air them, they get knocked out of the sky, and you can hold it down for the extra damage or whatever. And if they go for an ultimate, because there'll be the time freeze, you'll be able to easily react to it and just keep holding down your block, and you won't have to... That's the wrong one. So if I go, do, 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 do. oops, oh goodness, this is hard to control, do control this. If they're mashing ultimate, you can easily react to it like that. And also if they end up jumping. And you can catch them if they jump pretty damn easily because you've got lots of time to react to both options. So yes, they can jump and they can ultimate, but those are both options that are pretty easy to counter within the same reset situation. So just a little side note there. So in my books, I'm just going to call it a combo. And it's a really, really damaging way of ending your combos because look how much damage this grab does. That's a lot of damage that's going to be unscaled at the end of the combo because it uh, doesn't count. And all of his poison attacks... The poison doesn't scale, so you always get that extra 300 damage whenever you use a poison attack near the end of the combo. So that means any kind of combo you're going to do, as long as you have a grab and a poison attack in it, it's going to do a nice big chunk of damage. So if you get a combo off of a red combo, so say you get an armor attack, you can do a very similar round where you do special one, few attacks, special two, and go for a grab. 
that is a huge amount of damage because you get the unscaled grab and that unscaled extra bit of poison just to cherry on top and it's really good and even if you don't want to uh if you go for the grab reset off of here the opponent can technically uh interrupt it if they're ready for it so they can mash you out of that one but you can make um you can stick with the super tight one so if you do like a combo like this oh uh, oops no if you just do your full attack string Dash counts into a grab. This is the unavoidable one. And it's still going to be a nice big chunk of damage. And we love those. So, now that you have the main three ways that he's going to extend your combos. Um, oh yeah, so the main use of this one is that it does more damage at the beginning of a combo. So you want to use it early on if you want. His tilt special is kind of the most easy to just throw in because it'll always work. And also you don't have to react to if the opponent is blocking because it is a really good pressure tool. I'm not going to talk too much about pressure in this video because this is about combos. Um, it'll be in the full breakdown video on um, how to use pressure with Gutero. But it is a very good pressure tool. So good that this is actually a, a full attack string. The opponent can't mash DP or anything in this. They can't do any kind of armor. They need to go for a pushback and do something. So it's extremely plus and a good pressure tool. And that's why using it early on in a combo might be... Um, you might want to do that because you don't have to react in the crappy online. <laughs> and then doing a jump cancel into a dive kick is really good if your opponent is doing a lot of pushbacks into DPs. A lot of the time, if you jump cancel um, backwards... Oops, I accidentally did a down combo. But if you jump backwards and go for your dive kick, you'll go away from the DPs. The DP will miss and you'll get a punish on the DP or you'll just dodge it. Which it makes it a good utility combo extender. And this is a good utility combo extender if you don't want to react. Because whether they block or whether they get hit, you're going to get a combo. <laughs> and then just regular special is just good for damage. Alright, so... Um, I already showed what you get off red combos. You kind of just keep it short, and depending on what you do, you either do a full attack string into a grab for the guaranteed throw, or you do a tilt special near the end for a little bit more damage. And off of any kind of orange combo or yellow combo, um, you either will get them from that in neutral or from dash ins or just from getting punishes with the regular attacks and it's going to be pretty similar it just is a bunch of attacks into special moves and you kind of just have to decide how much meter you want to spend on your combo and which ender you want to use in your combo because other than that the middle part can be whatever order or whatever special moves and regular attacks you want and basically the only thing you think about is if you want to spend more meter you will do less regular attacks, and if you want to save your meter, you're going to be doing more regular attacks to take up more of the time in your combo. So a cheaper version of a combo will be something like this. Hello? And then go for a bit of a reset or something like that. Or if you want to cash out, he can cash out pretty well because all of his special moves can cancel into... things really really easily so <laughs> he can spend all of his meter if he wants no no worries and if you're getting combos like you're dashing in behind your projectile you're probably going to be dashing in and blocking anyways because you might be going for a grab but if you do think that the opponent is going to get hit you can just wait for the grab a little bit but you still go for the block because the block will um interrupt your dash and then you block and if you think they're going to get hit oops they didn't get hit because i was too far away but if you do think they are going to get hit, and they do get hit, you can go for um, an armor attack. And get some pretty good damage that way. Um, the only time you're really going to have an airborne combo... Because uh, Kyuzaro, I don't think it's a good idea to put the opponent in the air just because of how good his grab resets are, and they obviously only work when the opponent's on the floor. So the only time the opponent is going to be in the air is probably on accident. If you accidentally do the follow-up for the sickle slash, then you can dash cancel it and easily get some kind of combo going like this. And um, because it's not going to be as good and not going to lead to your resets, I probably suggest don't spend too much meter on it. 
and it is actually really good. You can dash cancel it super late. You're like, oh crap, I messed up my combo. I accidentally did that follow up. You can dash cancel super late and just go in for a simple combo like this and just still get a combo. So you don't totally flop, but um, yeah. So you still get a combo even if you make a mistake. So the main way you go into your combos is obviously going to be a red attack or a yellow attack. And we've talked about the middle parts. You're going to use this for damage. This if you don't want to react and it'll be good on block anyways. And this if you want to dodge DPs or armor attacks. You can even like jump behind them and go for it to go behind armor attacks. And now we're going to talk about the way he ends his combos. And I've already shown the two main ways that I suggest ending your combos. So the one I predominantly use is a full attack string, dash cancel, and mash grab. Unavoidable, can't be boosted, ultimated, switched out by the opponent. It's practically a combo and adds a huge amount of damage to the end of your combos. You can also do tilt special into a grab. This one can be mashed out, but it is pretty difficult. They have to be super, super on point, and it does add a little bit more damage because you refresh the poison at the end and get an extra special move. And one of my favorites is actually just doing an up combo and canceling it into your tilt demon skill because the tilt demon skill will just go straight through the opponent, and that's a good thing. Because you know what the worst thing about your tilt demon skill is? The worst possible situation with your tilt demon skill is if it hits the opponent. Because if it's going straight towards the opponent and it hits them, this probably happens. They're probably going to block it and you get absolutely nothing. And so you want to find situations where it will miss the opponent. Whether that's at um, round start, you can throw it out from really far away and then it's not going to hit them because it stops. That's a good way of making it miss the opponent. But my personal favorite way of making it miss the opponent, there's no way that it'll hit, is just using this as your combo ender. Let's pretend I've done a really long combo and I do this. It'll go through the opponent, and I get to do whatever ridiculous stuff I want, because I know that even if I get punished, these projectiles are coming, and I get to get another combo off of it. And do some lovely juicy damage for it. And this isn't a guide video of like how to use the Tilt Demon skill, but you putting out the Tilt Demon skill is really good. You can do... just go for crazy stuff. If the opponent's blocking, you can keep da dashing at them and break their block. You can go for this. And it'll be safe because if they try to punish you, the projectiles will come in and punish the opponent trying to punish you because they don't disappear if even if you get hit. So yeah, using your up combo is a really good combo ender. And it's just like all of his other combo strings, it's really quick. So you can even use it with a short amount of combo timer left. So if you do a combo like this, like few hits into a special move, full attack string into a special move. Um, actually, I haven't even have more time than that. So I can do... Sorry. Um, few hits, special move, few hits, special move, maybe then a full attack string into a special move. I still, I could even fit even a few more special moves, but as you can see there, you can fit in a lot of stuff and you don't need much time to go for your thing. And then, yeah, those are coming at the opponent and Bob's your uncle, awesome stuff is going to happen. So yeah, up combo ender is your really, really good setup combo ender or dash cancel grab is your really, really good damage ender. Adds so much damage to the end of like any combo. It's crazy crazy and um combo wise that's basically it for the main stuff quickly we'll talk about boost things um obviously he can get pretty good damage in boost especially if you're okay with spending a bunch of meter because you know you get a bunch of meter from going into boost oh no that might be a little okay that was a little overextended you want to make sure you get the last hit because um Kitoro does get a lot of damage from the last hit of his boosted combo ender Oh, will it work? Yeah, I think this will fit. Yeah, nice. So that was just some random buttons into some specials into some random buttons. And as you can see, I got over half of Sabito's life, which is a lot of damage. And in surge mode, obviously, he has a super easy time getting damage. He's just like Water Tanjiro, tilt special into special, tilt special into special, and then, you know, go into ultimate wherever you want. Super, super easy. And the same works if you're in the air because you get brought back down to the ground. And comboing into an ultimate is so easy with Gutero because his ultimate activation is so fast. He throws these things out like instantly after the time freeze, it practically hits the opponent instantly. So much so that like even off of weird things like this, you think, oh, this, you can't hit the opponent. Yes, you can. Even that little bounce is enough to combo into an ultimate. So any hit into an ultimate will basically work with Gutero. Like with most characters, like the first few hits of their attack string don't combo into their ultimate and they need to like get the last hit or whatever. Gutero, 
Even this first tiny bit will combo into his ultimate, because it's just so fast. And I just realized I forgot to mention his DP, because he can get combos off of his DP if he doesn't hold it down for too long, because the opponent's left in a crumple state. So you can do stuff like this and go for this kind of reset, but it is very, very short. Even shorter than a regular combo, because this animation takes such a long time, so you don't really get much time to go for much at all. You can go for these kind of resets, but that's about it. And I do recommend it, because look how much damage that does. But uh, yeah, you just have to be very aware that it's a super, super short amount of time that you have. And combo-wise, I think that's all we really have to talk about with Kyutaro. Just a quick note on pressure, because that's kind of combos. Um, if the opponent is blocking, um, if they don't know how to deal with you, this is a full, uh, like, a pure attack string. There's nothing they, they can do about it, they can't DP, they can't go for an ultimate or anything, so you can just keep doing this until their guard breaks and just be an absolute menace. Now, obviously, they can push you back from the first hit of the tilt special, and that's where things get a little bit interesting because the only thing they can really punish you with is a DP, because he can actually cancel into buttons on whiff, unlike characters like Darky and Tengen. So as you see, that move completely whiff, but I was still able to go into buttons, which means they can't just push you back and punish you, they have to push you back and interrupt you. Which me leads to mind games where you can go for things, and if they think you're going to go for this, they're going to be pushing back and going into DPs quite recklessly. So you can go for, like, dash cancels, or, I mean jump cancels, into your dive kick, and that will punish their DPs. Or even, like, if you want to stay plus, you can jump cancel and go into that, and then you're going to stay plus and in their face. So after they push back and go for a DP, if they do, or maybe if they don't DP, you just jump cancel back, and you can go for a plus unblock dive kick, which is this one. Or you can, like, jump behind them, and depending on the range, or in how big the characters are, you might be able to get stuff like this. And, uh, yeah. Using the jump cancels is a good way of avoiding DPs. And also just using your spanning special, because this is a true attack string that is safe. So if they're trying to go mash DPs or whatever, they'll mash a DP and then you'll be able to block after this. And then you get to punish their DP. And stuff like that just has mind games around it. So the first layer, you just want to use your tilt special as a really awesome pressure tool, because it is a really awesome pressure tool. You can link it super, super easily. <laughs> and then when the opponent starts doing stuff about it, that's when you start doing stuff about the stuff they're doing stuff about. Oh, I don't know if I said that right, did I? <laughs> but that's when you start adapting to what they're doing. And it's what leads to lovely, lovely mind games. And I suppose, because this is a combo video and it is day one, I should show you his TOD, which won't be a TOD on Sabito, but I'll show it anyway, so bunch of projectiles. I'm only showing it because I think his is particularly cool. <laughs> so throw out all these projectiles. They don't hit the opponent. Dash in. Oh, I messed up. Maybe. I kind of messed up a bunch, but if it was Akaza, it'd still kill. It's not going to kill Sabuto. It only kills Akaza. But I think it looks pretty cool. Anyways, that is a combo guide for Gyutaro. I hope you learned something, and I hope you enjoy playing with Gyutaro. I think he's one of the most enjoyable characters in the game to play. And I hope this video just makes you enjoy him a little bit more, because now you'll be so good at getting amazing hit confirms, getting good damage, and getting juicy resets and juicy setups. So, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>